AI has become a game changer for educators, helping reduce workloads in ways we now depend on. But have you gone beyond the usual text-based outputs and explored how AI can engage directly with your students, creating dynamic interactions instead of just static content? In today's video, I'm going to share five ways to combine AI tools and interactive platforms like EdCafe and ClassPoint to transform your classroom presentations into engaging and unforgettable learning experiences. Let's get started. Use AI for creating interactive content. To add in interactivity to your lessons, we first need the content. So let's start there. Imagine having AI-generated slides packed with questions, quick quizzes, and even interactive elements. To do this, I'm going to be using EdCafe, an AI tool designed for every educator. Once you've created an account for free, click on Create New. You'll be able to see all of the options for creating your content. But here, we're just going to be focusing on the slide generator. This will generate a new slide deck based on our desired topic, text, web page, or a document. Let's say you already have a PowerPoint deck. Remember that one that was boring your students that led you to this video in the first place? Try that. So I'm just going to upload this from my desktop, then add in any additional instructions, like adding in that interactivity with multiple choice, short answer, and word cloud questions. Then select the number of slides, your output language, and a theme. EdCafe will provide that short outline that you can review and edit, like adding in any additional slides. Then go ahead and click continue to move on to that generation phase. Review our slide deck, make any changes if needed right on the slides, and click save. Give it a quick name. Then we can export this as either a Microsoft PowerPoint or a Google Slides. Now you can review that deck and use those questions during class to get a little bit more interaction from your students. However, let's go one step further and make these slides truly interactive. With the PowerPoint add-in class point, we can just simply add an interactive quiz question button right onto our slide. So that way, when we're presenting, we can begin receiving those live responses from our audience. The perfect way to quickly use AI to add that interactivity into our lesson. Learn more about downloading and setting up these interactive quiz questions with ClassPoint with the video linked up above. Use AI for quiz questions on the fly. Ever been in the middle of your PowerPoint presentation and realized your students need more practice? That's where AI-generated quiz questions come in handy, especially if they're done right inside of PowerPoint. During your presentation, if you notice your students need more clarification, or if you're running a review session and you want to push their thinking, click on this AI button on the ClassPoint toolbar. If you don't have this button, download ClassPoint for free and meet us back here. From here, you can choose your customization options like the question type and the level of Bloom's taxonomy that you want to focus on. Then just go ahead and generate your question. Once generated, you can review your question, generate another one, check your answer, and save it as a slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Click on the button to start receiving your live student responses. See how quick that was? You can use these responses to further adapt to student needs on the spot. How do students join in to submit their responses? Great question. They can actually just go to the website classpoint.app, type in the class code and their name, and they're good to go. Use AI for multimodal teaching. With AI, it's easy to cater and adapt to different learning styles. Visual learners, auditory learners, or kinesthetic learners, everyone is covered. Use EdCafe's interactive video quizzes to ensure students are actively watching and reflecting instead of just passively viewing. In the YouTube quiz tool that we have here, you can paste in a video that you plan on having your students watch. Once it's loaded up, EdCafe will also ask you what type of question you want to ask your students. Then you can go ahead and generate, and EdCafe will prepare some in-depth questions based on this video. Once generated, you can review all of the questions and edit them as needed. You'll also see a quick explanation that will show to students once they complete the quiz. Once everything is generated and your review is done, you can go ahead and save your quiz. Then we can launch it to our students. So you can launch it through this QR code or you can copy a link. 
With this link, students can just add in their name and then they can begin taking the quiz. So you can see here, they can watch the video and go ahead and take the quiz. Back on your teacher side, you'll be able to review the responses as they come in as a whole class and to see their individual student performance. In addition, Ed Cafe has features for reading that students can listen to the audio format. Take the text leveler feature as an example. We can add in our text that we want to provide a text level, a leveler example for, add in the grade of your students, then go ahead and generate. Once generated, you can choose a narrator. The greatest glory in living lies and then click generate and it will generate the audio version of your text that you can then listen to. The lost city of Atlantis has fascinated people for a long time. Then go ahead and share this with your students. Or you can also use ClassPoint. With ClassPoint, you can run an audio record question where students must submit an audio recording to answer your question. Use AI for post-lesson interaction. Don't let the interactivity stop once the lesson is over. Create interactive quizzes to share with your students to complete later at their own pace. Then you can review the results to still see how they performed. EdCafe has a feature for this. Similar to the slide deck, you can generate a quiz based on any topic, text, web page, or a document. You can add in your content, then select the type of question that you want to ask, then generate. Similar to the YouTube quiz that we discussed, you can review your questions, you can edit as needed the questions, the distractors, the explanation. You can also add in any additional questions by yourself or using AI. Then you can save your quiz, give it a quick name, then launch it to your students to complete after class. Once they have completed the quiz, you can review the results and get some handy insights as those results come in, which leads us to our last tip. And lastly, use AI for data-driven insights. Knowing how your students are engaging and understanding the lessons can completely transform your teaching strategy. During your lesson, when using ClassPoint to interact with your students, you can easily see how the students are engaging. But with short answer questions, you can take it one step further to get a summary of their results. Click on a short answer button, and once all the responses are in, you can click on this AI Insights to get a little bit more data on your student responses. You can also get these AI insights when you are in PowerPoint edit mode after class, you can click on this reports icon. We'll take you to that class point web app. You can actually end the class, then click into that class to dive a little bit deeper. You can look at that short answer question and again, ask class point AI for some added insights. In addition, after every class session with ClassPoint, you'll get an email providing you a snapshot of the activities and some AI insights on how to improve. You can use these insights to create a personalized follow-ups or tweak your lessons for the next class. And that's it, save time and boost engagement by using AI to help plan more interactive lessons. If you found these tips helpful, hit that like button and the subscribe button for more tech tips and tricks for your classroom. Otherwise, happy interactive teaching.